Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Mercedes C180 um, compressor this is a W203 and um, I'm just gonna be changing the air filter oil filter, oil um, gonna top up some screen wash fluid and uh, just check the coolant so um, just gonna quickly start by topping up the um, screen wash and that is in that blue cup here so you can buy um, screen wash from any garage really ready mixed You can also get some concentrated fluid and mix it yourself. But sometimes it's easier to just get the already mixed one. Try not to use any fair liquid or uh, any of those uh, types of liquids because they become very foamy and jelly and they block the jets now we can have a quick look at the, um, the coolant uh, it's a bit difficult to see but the coolant uh, on this car um, it will be it should be around uh, this line here and um, if the car's been running, it will be very hot. So be careful when you open that cup. If you look inside of that um, of that cup, there is a little uh, like a mark for a reference. So that's that little line there, and uh, the coolant, although you can't see it. It's leveled. It's leveled with that line, and that line is leveled. Uh, is the same as this line here. So, just as a reference, um, that's how you can check the coolant level. And uh, using one of these, there's different types of these. You can check the percentage of antifreeze in. So this is uh, this is like at minus forty. So that's a good level of antifreeze, and uh, we don't need to do anything with that. We don't need to top it up or nothing. So we're just going to move on to um, the air filter here. The air filter is located under this cover. Uh, we need to remove these screws, which I've already removed. These are a T. So with a Torx T25, just undo the screws. You don't need to remove them all the way. They just uh, they will come out all the way, but you don't need to. Um, Remove the cap. So we can then uh, just um, remove the filter. It's not terribly bad, this one.
you can clean that area a little bit and then um, got our, our new filter here it's a Bosch S9401 Just get it in there and so that's the old one there and then you can uh, get this cover back on okay so that's it now we can uh, move on to the doing the um, oil filter and the oil so the oil filter is um, is located up here. You can just about see the top of it of the housing. I'm using a 27 mil socket. Now if you leave it there for five minutes or so, it will drain down and then um, it won't be as messy if you try to pull it out straight away. If you try to pull it out straight away, some oil will will drip around. Um, so it really depends if you're in a rush or not, but if you leave it there for five minutes, um, when you pull it out, there won't be much oil dripping. So. Uh, we're gonna open the oil filler cap, which can be a little bit tight. So I'm just gonna open it, I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm also gonna pull the dipstick, which is just sitting next to the engine. on that end just there now I'm gonna pull the So, that's our oil filter there, okay, pull that out, so that just pulls out of there and then we can dispose of this. Now I'm gonna um, get the car up and uh, we'll drain the oil from underneath. Okay, so looking at the car from underneath, we just need to remove um, this cover, which I've already removed uh, most of the little bolts, they're 8 mil bolts or 8 uh, mil screws. Um, I think there's about six of them. And uh, just get yourself an oil pan or something to catch the oil. And then we are looking at basically that bolt that is a 13 mil and remember if the engine's been running that oil can be very hot so don't burn yourself just be careful you can always wait for it to cool down
Now while we wait for that to uh, drip 5 to 10 minutes we can be uh, changing <laughs> the air filter preparing it in its housing okay so that's my new filter there it's uh, this make here hangs uh, that's the part number there E38HD106 so you can get different ones you can get Bosch or uh, Malay just different makes really Just removing these uh, old O-rings. Three of them. Your new filter will come with this. Just make sure you get in the right groove, which is the uh, it's the bottom one here. Then we can just grab our filter and push that in there. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of general purpose grease here. That's just to allow this um, O-ring to um, slide a little bit easier when, it's, when we screw this back on there. That way we don't damage it. Okay, so we got our filter ready. Um, that's our sump plug there. You can check the condition of this copper washer. It's quite a thick one. I mean, uh, they do get compressed and occasionally they can allow some oil to go through but if you got a new one just change it if you haven't got a new one and this is not too bad you can reuse it it's not a, a big deal but obviously if it if it is damaged and it's leaking you might have to change it which then means uh, you may have to drain the oil again so better be safe and just change it and get a new one okay so I've got a new one here it's a slightly different shape but same thing so that's still dripping so I'm gonna let it drip for a little bit longer okay now we can refit our uh, sun plug bolt So I just cleaned the air with a bit of uh, braking clutch fluid um, just to make sure we don't think there is any oil leaks if we're looking at that in another time. <coughs> now we can refit our uh, cover. Okay now we're gonna lower the car and uh, refit our oil filter and top up some oil. Okay, now we're ready to get our filter in there. On top of this filter it says 24 Newton meters. That's not a lot of force, so if you have a torque wrench you can use that. So 
so I always um, screw that by hand a little bit to make sure it's going in the right way. And that's pretty much it. Now we can um, top up some oil. I'm going to be using a 5W30. So I'm um, just looking at the manual here, looking at the capacities. Engine with oil filter. Uh, this is a C180 and the C200 also takes 5.5 litres. And the other cars take 8 litres, 8.5. 6.5 that would be the diesel one anyway so um, I'm doing the C180 compressor and it's 5.5 liters and um, like I said I'm gonna be using 5W30 that is uh, looking at this chart it's the 5W30 is on the range of uh, minus between uh, uh, the temperatures here are minus 5, uh, minus 15, plus 25. So it's pretty much the uh, the right uh, the right oil for where uh, where we are here in the UK. Temperature not really that extreme. Saying that, this week I think we're going to be. Uh, Lucky enough to get um, up to 30 degrees, I think. Okay, that was 5.5 liters. Now we can just have a quick look at the dipstick. So looking at the dipstick here, we have a little arrow there and another one there. They just indicate uh, this side is minimum and that's the maximum. Having, having just uh, done the service, we want our oil to be at the max. So it's just showing It's just showing just below the max here, but um, we need to give um, the oil a little bit of time to get down, to drain down all the way. But um, Okay, so that's pretty much it. So hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching.